In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create your profile. This is the same process that a student would need to complete their profile as well. And the reason that we're going to do this right now is because in one of the activities, you are going to require your students to do the same thing. So before we get started, one of the things that I would recommend is that you write a brief bio uh, about yourself. And I've already got a sample over here for a bio that I typically will include in a class. It basically tells a little bit about myself. It tells my story very briefly about my professional and academic background. And I've also got some social media links that I can include in my profile. So this allows the students to get to know me as a teacher a lot better and also provide them with an opportunity to connect with me either directly through the course or through some of my social media accounts if they choose to. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to go to our Moodle page and you can do this from within the course or you can also do this from the dashboard. So the process will work either way. I'm currently in the dashboard, so I'm gonna to go to the very top of the page and right over here, you'll see that I don't have an image right now, but there is a little arrow at the top right of the page. I'm gonna click on that arrow and select profile. You're gonna to get to this page and what you'll need to do here is you will need to basically start populating some of the information available. So we're looking at the user details first. Now, I've already got a email listed over here because when you create a Moodle account, typically you will have to have an email associated with that profile. So that's already there in the system. If it's not there, you should be able to go in and edit it if your administrative privileges allow you to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit profile and we're gonna come down here and I'm gonna leave all of this information as is. Right here with the email display, uh, the default is hide my email address from non-privileged users. I'm gonna go ahead and change this and allow only course participants uh, to see my email address because I do want my students to have access to my email address so that they can connect with me either by email. However, if your institution has a policy that requires them to communicate with you through the learning management system, through Moodle directly, uh, then you can choose to hide it. But my preference is always to allow my students to see my, e my email address. All right, for the city, you can go ahead and type in your city. Select the country. My time zone is correct. All right, we're going to go to the editor at this point, and I'm going to go ahead and expand the editor just because I like to see all of the icons that are available to me. And here is where we're going to go ahead and copy and paste the bio that I have typed out in Word documents. So I'm going to go back to my Word document, and I'm just going to review it one more time, make sure everything is okay. And um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to take out the um, link to my blog and just include the three social media accounts that are listed here. I'm going to select everything, right click, copy, I'm going to go back to Moodle and right click and we're going to paste everything. And the editor allows you to bold or underline or change the colors if you wish to do that. I can see that we need to fix this right over here so I'm going to highlight my social media accounts and just click on the bullet points. This is one way of displaying them, but you can also include icons if you wish to do that. And there is a great website where you can download a variety of different icons for really anything. I typically like to go to this website to get icons for social media accounts, for their logos, I should say, um, and embed them. And I'm going to show you the website really quickly. It is called iconarchive.com. And if you go to it, so for example, you can go ahead and type in Twitter, hit enter, and it's gonna give you a variety of different logos. And you've got more options than the ones, ones that are displayed on this page. As you can see, you've got multiple pages over here. If you wanna see more options, uh, go over to the uh, left menu panel, and if you click on that icon right there, you're gonna see now you've got more icons displayed on the page. When you find a logo that you want to embed onto your Moodle page, you can simply go ahead and click on the icon, select the size of the icon that you wish to have embedded onto your Moodle page, download it so you can click on this and it'll download to your computer, and then you can go ahead and upload it to Moodle and um, hyperlink it. And uh, I'm just gonna do one example, so we're gonna go ahead and click on the 48 pixel one. We're gonna right click, we're gonna cl click on save image as, 
downloads folder we're going to click on save and as you can see this is saved now to my computer I'm going to close that page right there and um, let's go ahead and pretend like we're going to post the image right over here so I'm going to go back to my download folder and all you have to do is basically select the file drag it and drop it right there and there you go now you've got an icon for Twitter you can um, right click on that or you can click on the image itself and there it is go ahead and click on the image click on the link icon right there and here you can go ahead and type in the link to your Twitter account or LinkedIn account or whatever social media account you are trying to connect to all right so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't want that on my profile once we're done with the social media we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and we're gonna add a user picture as I mentioned earlier on I do not have a profile picture in the top right corner so this is what we're gonna be adding right now I've got a profile picture on my computer so I'm gonna drag that image and simply drop it here we're gonna give the picture a description we're gonna skip over these options right here and click on update profile as you can see now I've got a profile picture that appears here and also in the top right hand corner and this is how you can go ahead and create a profile on Moodle